Hey everyone! Reducing complexity on distant objects not only improves render time or game performance, but oftentimes looks better as well. When an object is far away in a scene, it's not as important to have all those little details visible. In computer graphics, you call this LOD, or level of detail. A lot of times you'll see games use planes with an image of a tree on it for very distant LODs. And sometimes, if you're lucky, the different LODs stay active when they shouldn't. So, we're going to make use of the options in Blender to create our own LOD system. There are a bunch of different ways in Blender to reduce detail. For instance, the Decimate modifier. Which is just a quick and easy way to reduce your geometry. Switching your feature set to Experimental, at least as of 3.4, lets you enable Adaptive Subdivision, which will subdivide the meshes in your scene based on the distance from the camera, so closer objects will have higher level of detail. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other things, Blender's got a lot of options. But what I want to do is create a fairly simple geometry node setup that allows me to replace my higher resolution objects with lower resolution objects at a distance that I choose. Again, like everything else in Blender, there are tons of ways to set up an LOD system with geometry nodes. But I'll show you how to make the most basic and easiest to set up version I've figured out. First, we're going to want to find the distance between our object and the camera, so we'll want to add a couple object info nodes, which you can do easily by shift dragging stuff from the outliner. Then we'll need a way to determine the distance, so a vector math node set to distance. Now we want our object to be able to swap out depending on the camera distance, so we're going to instance our object with an instance on points node. Then we're going to need a point to instance our object on. So I'm going to just merge my cube into a single vertex. But you can use whatever, just add a vertex or make a vertex array, really whatever. And we need an object to act as our low fidelity model, so I'm just going to use a mesh primitive cube. But you would probably use the geometry output of your low fidelity object. Now we can add a switch to, well, switch between which object is visible when. And we'll require another object to switch to. So I'm going to add an icosphere to act as my high fidelity model. And using a compare node set to greater than, we can determine the camera distance at which our objects switch out. Now obviously this is horribly basic, but our object changes based on the camera's location, from simple cube to amazing icosphere. It's possible you could want more than just two levels of detail, which just involves adding another switch, object, and compare node. And now at really far away, the object becomes a plane. If you wanted your LODs to be an image plane, you'll need to have it track the camera's position. I'll just set it up real quick and show what it might look like. Like that. It looks like that. So now as I move the camera, the plane face tracks to the camera's position. And like I said earlier, you can change how you instance these objects within the node system to get a field of grass, a forest of trees, or like a billion names, all laying flat. And because I can't really help myself when I make something that I enjoy, I went a little crazy with the plane idea and worked on an LOD node system that would take into account the angle of the camera. So you can take a picture of your object from multiple angles, and the system would swap out to the correct image for each angle your camera was at. It probably has minimal use, but you could use it to fly a camera over forest tree planes and not have the trees lay over while you're above them. You could like show the treetops instead. I'll throw the node group up on our Patreon if you want to take a look at it. It's far from perfect. It's pretty complex. I'm sure there's probably a more efficient way to do the same thing. And I haven't set the planes to track the camera. So if you wanted to actually use it, you'll probably have to work on it a little bit. But I always find it fun to look at node groups, so maybe you'd like to take a look at it. Alright, I think that about covers it. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye. Okay, we're gonna go show how it is.